In today's video we're going to be looking at the awesome hunting behaviour of this athletic beast. Nah, no, just kidding. So the first thing that's new in the fish room is this divider in the bottom 29. And this is in here just to split up the, the different sets of fry because obviously you've got them at different growing rates. Um, like these in the tumbler are the newest ones that I actually just stripped today. As you can see I had to do a little bit of DIY in the tumbler as uh, we actually had to cut it open to get the last fluorescent fry out. On a side note here is just a quick clip of the Sunshine Bengar eating. I think I'm going to use him as my next breeder male as I'm pretty sure I've got a juvenile um, sunshine female so I'll probably get one or two more of those and then breed them. So this is the other side of the 29 and there's the little sunshine female or believe to. I've also got a red peacock in there that's a female as well and then also a star sapphire that I'm growing out. As well as these three I've also got two breeder boxes or breeder nets full of fluorescent fry. There's about 18 or 19 in there and then the smaller group is probably only about 11 or 12 um, but they all seem to be growing pretty good and the plan is to release both these nets into different sections of the 29 once they're big enough hopefully that shouldn't take too long as they're absolutely destroying food um, right here they're just eating some algae wafers which are really good as they can graze on them for a period of time Above that bottom 29 holding slash grow out tank we've obviously got the fluorescent group and as I just touched on I've actually just stripped a female today um, so the male the male's doing his job um, just with three females in there and I'm getting plenty of fry from them. Uh, right now I've probably got about 80, um, maybe a few more. So really the focus for the next few months is is just growing the fry out um, and getting them to size to sell them rather than actually breeding these as I've got plenty. Over in the 75, recently just did a big water change, probably about 40 gallons um, and rescaped. I also added two fish from the bottom 29, one being this little albino sunshine there and the other being the deep water hap. And since they've been in here they've had absolutely no issues which is uh, Obviously good because Africans can be a little bit aggressive every now and again. So besides the regular water changes, um, rescape and two new additions, there's nothing new in this tank although this sulphur head um, has really been taken off recently and his blaze is awesome. There's also a few others in here that are showing some promise as well like that Taiwan reef that I think is pretty close to colouring up. So yeah, that was just a little fish tank update just with the uh, with a new fry and the scape changes and stuff like that. Um, let me know in the comments what videos you might like to see next and also let me know if you like this scape change. As I've been debating on taking the fake plants out for a while to just have the focus on the fish and the colours, so let me know. And thanks for watching.